to say that this is the best buck would be an understatement. This is this is peak right here. This is the best we got. All right, we got a good one for you today. We got Roman Key Cowl uh, production. So this is a plain body. I got the yellow skin. I got the black. Also got the white. So I got all three. And I'm really, really excited about this, man. I missed out on the female bucks because I just forgot about them when, when I got the notification to pay for the actual pre-order. I didn't even see the email until it was too late. And I was super bummed out. But I made sure I grabbed these guys because I didn't want to miss out on the potential that these bodies have. Let's get it open. Comes in a cartridge, double clamp, and it has a little box on the back. I'm assuming that's for the extra parts. <laughs> we got the trigger hands. We got the kind of grip hands, more grip hands, but kind of a little bit more open. You have pointy hands. You even have a middle finger, which is fucking dope. Oh, we got two. <laughs> we got the pointing hands up here and then two middle fingers. Awesome. Just kind of like a grip and then a open splayed hand, kind of Spider-Man climbing up the wall hands. So that's what? Man, that's seven pairs plus his fists. Man, that is that is great. Plus you have some little shoe looking. Uh, so he comes with the bare feet and you can also do these little shoes. So with the accessories, he also comes with extra pegs, which is always good for these types of figures because you're going to be swapping and doing all this stuff. And if it, something breaks, you want to have something extra. And I'm sure some of this stuff is for the neck so you can fit multiple different, uh, different types of heads. So that's always good. All right. Also comes with some board shorts this is really cool looks like it has roman key cowl on the side <laughs> this is really cool so this is the uh if you order from 5k they send you these extra shorts so i guess our guys won't be naked that long because they have shorts Alrighty, and that is not it for the accessories if you thought that was it there's actually a little bit more all right so if you can see what that box is, <laughs> it's two eggs and like a sausage or a, a, a hot dog or something. So if you don't know, this body comes with an attachment to make or have the male genitalia actually on the figure. So yeah, I don't know if I'm going to show this on camera. I'm not trying to get banned or anything, but I'll leave those right there and maybe somebody on an internet will be brave enough to post those but <laughs> yeah it's a little too accurate i'm not showing that <laughs> so here we have all three variations of the bodies we got the yellow white and brown here only gripe i have so far is that i wish that each head had a different uh head sculpt just to just to make them a little different it would have been cool to have like a white dude a black dude or an asian looking dude just on the different bodies, that would have been dope. And then you could even paint those heads if you want and then have those just look like this. I don't know. Anyway, but most people aren't gonna use the heads. We're gonna customize these and do whatever, so I get it. All right, let's start with articulation. So in the head, you have the neck joint actually moves. If you can see that, head can go down, it can go up. You can look to the right. You can look to the left. All right. And something, it looks a little bit more natural turning that way, right? Usually it's just the neck or the head moving. But with this, the actual neck is moving and it actually makes it look really good. Like, look at this Adam's apple. It's no longer in the front. It's actually turning. That's pretty cool. That's how you can naturally turn. Man, I'm really digging that. That is way better than any fig I've seen in a while. Like, I don't think I've seen a fig that actually turns the neck, like, with the head. That's pretty freaking cool. 
smooth into the shoulders. So it does have butterfly. Let me turn the shoulders up. All right. So, all right. So off the bat, I'm already noticing that the butterflies go forward, obviously, but they also kind of go up. You see that? Like you can shrug, like, like, Dude, shoulder shrugs, like, come on, man. <laughs> that is sick. Shoulder shrugs, obviously, it goes back as well. All right. Goes forward, back, up, and even down. That is crazy. So, for the torso, you can already tell there is some extra articulation here. So, usually, we don't have this under the chest. So that moves, that's really cool. That moves, it goes right uh, side to side and even goes a little back, a little forward, see that? All right, then you have the actual ab, like really good movement there. That's oh, not even using the, t the, the waist swivel and this guy can pull some crazy, go to the side, <laughs> like, and the abs, the chest, the, the actual mold is not really hard plastic. It has some give to it. So, like, uh, it just feel you like you can get more out of it because it's not hard plastic on hard plastic. It's kind of soft. Even this middle is soft. The abs are feeling a little harder. So these are like a little softer plastic overlay. You can't even tell. All right, let's go to the waist swivel. Waist swivel moves side to side and then also goes down. So you can get a mean crunch out of them. I'd be surprised if you can do some some really cool stuff with this guy. Like you can even turn them and then lean into the other side, do some unnaturally flexible things, which is definitely awesome. All right, let's keep going. So at the legs, oh yeah, you can definitely do a split, whole split. So this is the piece that you take off and put the, the male genitalia on there. So you can have it if that is what you wish. You want a accurate male body. All right, so he goes up. All right, you can kick up. Let's see how far he can. Oh heck, dude, he can make. What what kind of split is this? A reverse split? I don't know. <laughs> he can make a full split the other way. I don't know if that's even what you call it. But he can go all the way up, all the way back. I don't have another fig that can do this. <laughs> I'm trying to think of any other fig that can do this. I don't think I have any. This is by far the most flexible fig. Like, this is crazy. All right, let's keep going. At the knees, double jointed. So he can definitely kick all the way back like that. Toe hinge, you already see that. He has the ankle pivot. Swivel everything you will want out the ankle. This is probably my new favorite buck. I don't think we have another buck that is as good as this articulation wise. If you want some more uh, bulk, I guess that would you know that's a completely different story. You can probably go with the Adam body. There's a huge Adam uh, body that's going around. That's I think it's I don't know if it's out or not. But I know the new one is coming out, so that one looks pretty good. If you like a, a more beefier guy for your customs, all right. So even has like, <laughs> like butt cheek articulation, like this is insane. All right, so let's see. Uh, let's check out some poses that we can do with this guy. All right, so first we got some stretching movement. This guy can go all the way down and then turn and stretch his arm. Like this is 
some really really neat stuff here switch off bodies bam you're about to go for a run you're stretching reaching for your toes this guy go to the other side <laughs> this guy is freaking insane <laughs> about to get into a soccer game you need to stretch your legs grab your toes <laughs> you can stick the superhero landing boom looks really good and it looks kind of natural it doesn't look like like sometimes when you pose a superhero landing it kind of looks a little phony this looks pretty good All right, so final thoughts on this body. I think this should be the new standard for articulation, man. I really, really, like, I I dig our, you know, I love Marvel Legends. I love G.I. Joe. I love all these, uh, you know, action figures that we're doing nowadays or that we have nowadays. Even uh, the, even SH figure arts can uh, get, uh, learn a thing or two from this articulation I don't think I've had a more articulate figure than this.